definition of the tidal volume for the work you need cottonol, alcohol and spirometer. Fix the mouthpiece on the tube of the spirometer and clean it with the cotton wool moistened in alcohol. Turn the lid of the spirometer and place the scale of the instrument so that its beam should match with zero point of the scale. During researches, the person under the test should hold the spirometer without preventing the free passage of the exhaled air. She takes the mouthpiece into her mouth and exhales through the nose and exhales through the mouth. Repeat it five times. Uh, our result is 2.5 liters. We should divide this result on 5. The tidal volume is 500 milliliters. Uh, definition of the expiratory reserve volume. Turn the beam on zero. After calm exhalation, the person under the test makes maximum exhalation into the spirometer. Define the volume of exhaled air. After every measurement, turn the beam of the scale on zero position and repeat it three times. Our results are first 1.5 liters, second 1.4 liters and third 1.6 liters. Then find the average. The result is 1.5 liters. Definition of the vital capacity of the lungs. The person under the test staying in vertical position makes 2-3 deep inhalations and exhalations not into the spirometer. Then she makes maximum deep inhalation and taking the mouthpiece into her mouth, calmly exhales the maximum possible amount of the air into the spirometer, contracting all the expiratory muscles, including abdomen muscle. The exhalation shouldn't be too slow or forced. Its continuance should be 4-8 seconds. Define the volume of tidal capacity by the scale of the spirometer. Then put it back into zero position. Repeat the measurements three times and find the average value. Our results are first 4.1 liters, second 4.2 liters and third 4.3 liters. The average result is 4.2 liters. You should compare your result with the predicted value of the vital capacity. It can be calculated with the help of the formula.